Is it a Sonic of Black Knight ad adaptation already? No, it's Sonic Archie Comics, issue 36. Hey, look, there's a Knuckles Soul story inside. That's good. It's not. Alright, what a Mobius is that? Well, it isn't a bird, Sonic. I guess I'm supposed to figure out what characters are reading it. When they're not showing, I'm not going to bother reading them. Because guess what? They don't even... I had to guess myself... I can tell who Antoine is because they make him put the fuck, make a stupid fucking French accent. Uh, what is his name? But you look at him. It doesn't look like it's any place Mobius I've ever seen. Correct, Mondo Tales. We're not looking at any place in Mobius, and I'd be willing to be that no name shining armor either. Whoa. I'll tell you this, Sonic. That's one, is one mean dude. Sonic Heart of Darkness Part 1. Yeah, but he is cool. See, bottom line, what is he up to us? He didn't call us just to look at state of the art special effects rotor. So, this is a Pender story. We all love Ken Fighters here, don't we? So, yeah, let's get into this story. So, he's missing in both stories lines. Hmm. Roy, as usual, Princess, you're looking at a lot of pictures beamed to us from a camera into the zone of silence. Well, I was in that zone not too long ago. It didn't look anything like that. That's because you weren't, Sonic. Say what? Uh-huh, you were in a different dimension from the one. This one, but not in the one we believe the King Anchor is to be. Sir, sir, you and Robotnik went back and forth between dimensions with such relative ease. Every previous attempt to recover the King from the Zone of Silence has always met with failure. And where things were, went down, the smooth, smooth, smooth game me out. That's right. Besides, Robotnik kept referring to where you are both temporarily trapped in the void. Which means you either the original absent minded professor, bad chance, or there is some devious reason for his mind name games. Bingo! So let's see what we can tune in the holographic sensor grid. This style looks really shitty. And so how does this this tie in with the figure we just saw on the view screen? That's a million dollar question all by itself. Aha, here we go for our three D map up and running, adjust your scanners and various wave bands, infrared, ultraviolet, magnetic. Oh, oh, will you look at that? Now we're cooking, what's shaking? The manac fields of Robotropolis are off the dial. It looks like the doctor is playing around with some serious power. And if these readings are correct, Princess, whatever Bonk's doing is having an effect on the zone where King Ancorn is. It's your call, Sally, but I'm willing to cut loose this, the juice. You know, Bonk, Robobot, before he knows what hit him. Crushing granite on one condition. Don't rush into anything. Top of the volume, Snively. It's time we rocked. Rolled. Are you sure this is wise, Doctor? Why? This doesn't enter the equation any more than it does choice. It's hard to believe that I tampered with forces beyond my control and it could prove my undoing unless action is taken. Now, Snively, let her rip. Yo, Ava, I like to say I'm sorry to ruin your parade, but I can't, so I won't. Have you any idea what you've done? All I know is it's, if it's something you don't like, it has to be way past cool. Why don't you be a good hedgehog and explode? Because I'm a freedom fighter, that's why. Now I shut this puppy down. Wait! Too late. Duck and cover, Snibbly. Mm -hmm. You blaring idiot. I hope you're proud of yourself. Big time, robot buttnick. Hope you can say the same when you're a witness all the mobiles eradicated. What do you mean? Figure it out in the meantime. I have a world to save. Not even you, Sir Hedgehog, can save this day this time. That's what you say. That's what you say, or but, 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 but. It's what I know, Hedgehog, still. Mm. Quit your mumbling, Sylvie. Where was I? Oh, yes, our dilemma. We have to go back to the beginning, back before I was the benevolent ruler of Mobius. Is, that, is this going to be a fairy tale? I'll look that remark. Oh, let's begin just before I came to power. I was examining that which was left to be by, by my mentor. Interesting. Kudos was just about to overthrow the king when I, he disappeared. My mentor, Kudos, had developed a number of different items to keep law and order over the populace. This looks like a nasty little something. Quite the toy. The best one was a convenient little thing called the Zone of Silence. Another dimension of reality suitable for straining one's enemies. You won't get away with this, Robotnik! I don't see anything stopping me, King Ancorn. However, it turned out the zone wasn't a dimension with finite proportions. It was a force of nature. A breach in the middle of the lab? What is going on here? 
that would keep growing up, merging with whatever existed around it on different energy and physical levels. Dr. Help, I'm being sucked in! I know I'm going to regret this! My futon cannon thwarted its advances, but only as long as I kept it going. You did it, sir. Further experimentation acknowledged something you had to give. We haven't much time, Snowly. We must destroy the zone before it consumes and destroys Mobius. What about the king? Unfortunately, a sacrifice had to be made for the greater good. I was proceeding to take care of the problem when you ruined everything. So now what? Since the conditions have to be right to go back to the fork between the zones, it may be possible to use this, my energy inhibitor. Once appropriately placed, just press the button and voila! 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 Our universe is saved and you'll have your king back. Where do I get the really bad feeling something isn't right? You think it's easy for me to trust you? I see your point. One thing. What really happened to Kudos? Wouldn't you like to know? Now get going. Time is of the essence. After all, why should I do the dirty work when I can have a hedgehog do it for me? <laughs> ha ho ho! This one be an energy inhibitor, but I'm stumped as how it operates. Or no, I can only recommend it be used as a last resort. I recommend we don't use it at all. We had no choice, Sonic. Robotic wasn't going to risk entering the zone, but we have to. Right now, we have to rescue the dad or the king. I think this is a well, foolish, foolish thing to do. We could be badly hurt. Perhaps gravely. Not fine. Have you really anything better to do? No, so you mentioned it. Yes. Everyone stand ready. I'm about to open the portal to the Zone of Silence. Hang on tight, kids. Whoa. The first step is a doozy. This feels mind weird. When you stretch from walking, floating, this orientation could be a bit jarring. Maybe Nicole can explain it better. We have to, we have to camp at science lessons for now, Sal. We've got company. Here's some artwork. Some of this artwork looks better than the fucking comic itself. It wasn't that shame. Sung a hedgehog. Hard darkness. Surrender or else face the consequences. That's not exactly a friendly way to start things off, bud. I'm not your bud, pal, bro, or any other term you may use suggesting familiarity. He is right. I'd rather see you open hot, honest hostility in front of me. At least you know it'll hit you where it hurts the most. My patience is wearing thin, fool. I'd like you to reply now. Come, Doc. Ow! Didn't your mom ever teach you it's not polite to point? Just give me a sec. Well, I even up the odds a bit. My troops! The hedgehog's moving so fast that all I can see is a blue blur. But that is all I need to see in order to fire. No, put that thing down. Daddy? Wit witless female. Never attack if you haven't the stomach to finish off your opponent. Sally! Sonic, down. This is no good, mon ami. You would attack your king? He doesn't even seem to know who he is or who we are. Sooner sure now, or I'll be a lenient. If not, I will wing and chat, be forced, put on the speed to do, and hope this. And that's a fast, cheap. I haven't made the wrong choice. What have I done? Great shades of Mobius. They're going to overshoot the portal entrance. I have only seconds to fire this lifeline. Sometimes I wonder what song would do about me. Hey, look, our ticket to Ra Hide. I just give a little tug, and we're out on our way home. Is everyone all right? We're okay, but the king isn't. So it's back to the drawing board until we figure out how to rescue him. And we will, princess. We'll find out what happened and set things right. The action of the pen doesn't stop here, readers. Tune in and not clean issues for more further details. So I think the next issues are about rescuing this guy. That's my drink break from the Knuckles comic. You're, 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 when he finally gets rescued, which will happen to actually a couple of issues later, spoiler, whatever. Lauren, he's, a, he's kind of an asshole. So thanks for letting know his knuckles. Uh, Sense of History, Part 3. Edmund Dimitri had a dream to drain the gems which hold the floating island aloft, so he might again become one of the land. But the dream went horribly, terribly wrong. As he gets the will of the scientific elite, Dimitri instead absorbed their power. Until the energies of eleven shattered chaos emeralds howled within him, and as he spoke, the ground twisted and heaved until a massive dark tower erupted from the earth. The shadow of what would be known as Mount Fate spread across the land, heralding the fall of a Chinese civilization. 
My father told me this tale, but he doesn't connect to Archimedes. In the mystery of the most missing chaotix. May the answers lie in what happened next. So, you awaken. Good, that is how it should be. Concrete world is sac scarcely worth the effort. Perhaps those who are dared and thwart my will in attendance. The elite deem the chaos siphon too dangerous, but the facts have proven me right. Our alien endures and through a bizarre twist of fate, inner energy is mine to command. Your ego has betrayed you to us, Dimitri. You're not the brother I know. Correct, Edmund. I am far more, far more immortal, eternal, a living chaos emerald, and the muddiest chain in the universe. Your brother is mad of power for the good of all. You must be stopped. Mad? Men always think their superior is mad, but it's too late to stop ma me, magistrate. For the deed is done. Already, a chaos has fallen. A still reprogramming of our mecha knots command code has bent them, and through them. A sensory to will. And, once sails have been mounted atop the city's highest tower, the isle, like some great ship, shall traverse the globe, beginning bringing enlightenment to the dwellers below. Only the fortress, which has been straightened, strengthened with a fraction of my own luminous power, can resist my staggering light. The walls are proof against my any attack. Except fire ants. We're free! The ants have eaten into the tower's foundation. It's collapsing. Quickly, brother, we must escape before... This cannot be. Phenomenal cause of power bested by... Dimitri! Brother, I'm sorry. And it falls to the ground. Even though it still exists in my day. Go to the ant, though. Should log it hard. Consider it his way. And be wise. It seems we are a very future to these humblest of God's creatures. Yeah, ants. Even though a chain is eat ants. Uh, whatever. My brother, nothing could spare him from his fate. Nothing, and no one. A tragedy, I mean, all the more should we should we fail to learn from it. Losing trust in science, our race has committed an act of humorous, arrogant pride. And innocent pay the price. He's taking out a stupid wig. And uh, he's proving these knuckles, and yeah, they destroy the city for some reason. We must make amends as best we are able. Thus, in the shadow of, fa shadow of a fateful mound, my people are in renounced technology, torn down their city. And, to ensure history, now repeat itself, appoint a guardian to stand with watch over the surviving chaos emerald. Edmund was the first to bear that mantle, a sacred trust passed generation to generation through all his children, to my father, and finally, to me. Look at all those knuckles. Which brings us full circle for all the good it did. So much for legends. There's something else about this place, something I've forgotten. But what? Of course, the Grand Conservatory. Though filled with remorse, my ancestors couldn't bring themselves to deny society's achievements. Instead, they gathered examples of our ancient sight and culture. Hold the artifacts across the continent by caravan, and buried them in the vast underground city. Mean the Shadow Mount Fate, those ruins must be what blocked the entrance. I bet it's Archimedes' headquarters, and where the hold is holding the Chaotix. Thanks, Dad. Now that I know where I am, I know where I'm going. Like you always said, those who fail to learn the lesson of history are doomed to repeat it. Oh, ha, 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 said somebody. Can anyone knuckles are on us all soon? Yes, so all that buildup was leading to Knuckles' many series, which we'll be going into next time. Here's the, uh, yeah. That's the end, and next time we'll be looking at Knuckles' mini series, and not issue 37, who's flagging to load in. Here's the website to use in case you guys want to read ahead, but there you go. Thank you for watching. See you then.